Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to be testing the M4 Pro MacBook Pro here, the M3 Pro MacBook and the M1 iMac and we're going to be doing a quick uh, video test to see how long it takes to export a 14 minute video on all three chips and see who does it in the quickest time. Now of course the M4 Pro will do it fastest, but I just want to see how long it will take on all three machines. Um, obviously, you've got the new iMac, which was released today, but I still have the original one in 2021, which works perfectly fine. And then we've got the silver MacBook Pro in the M3 Pro chip, which has 18 gigabytes of RAM. And you've got the brand new M4 Pro MacBook Pro, uh, which has 24 gigabytes of RAM. And now we're going to be doing a bit of editing. Uh, this flight simulator video that I have on all three machines and then we'll see how long it takes to export the video Almost immediately I can tell on the M1 iMac that it just um, While scrolling through the timeline, it, it's a bit laggy and then I'll compare that to the two MacBook Pros that I have where if you just scroll through the timeline it's quite smooth i don't know if it picks up on the uh, phone or not and then this is the macbook pro uh, m3 chip so yeah they both scroll scroll through quite smoothly on the timeline whereas on the imac it lags a bit i don't know if you can see it properly here but yeah there is that lagging feeling so uh let's export these and then see how long it takes these are 4K urban clips, uh, which is going to be 5.17 gigabytes. And let's see. This one comes up to 1121 in total. Share. 4K, 4.28 gigabytes. Let's see how long that takes on the iMac. And then we'll do the MacBook Pro M4 chip 4K next save and then we'll do the M3 MacBook Pro now I'm not really expecting much of a difference uh, but it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes it's 437 now let's see what we get so we got 13 minutes here originally 12 minutes this one is 11 minutes and then the iMac is also 11 minutes so it's uh 437 we'll see which one finishes first now whilst that's um, exporting in the background i primarily use imovie um as my main video editing software i've used other different um, well, softwares like CapCut and davinci resolve i think which is free but they're not that re um great for me um it's a bit difficult to use davinci um, especially uh, adobe premiere pro is one that i want to get but as you know that costs a lot and i don't want to spend that much so i'd rather just um stick to imovie which is uh free easy and apple zone uh, of course you've got final cut pro as well but yeah don't want to spend that much as well so it's 6 38 we've still got 11 minutes on the m3 we've got 10 minutes on the imac m1 and we've got 10 minutes on the m4 pro now the m4 pro is supposed to be um one of the fastest chips out there uh compared to the m1 max and m2 max it's um borderline along the same speeds in terms of geekbench results cpus and gpus and all that nonsense uh, i'm not really into all of that stuff so if you want to find more about that uh go watch other youtubers this is just a real life test to see how long um, each video takes i saw a comment by a subscriber on one of the videos that i put out so i just wanted to see um well give you a real world situation and see how long it takes for each video to export 
So a quick update, we're nearly halfway through on the M4 with 5 minutes remaining. Uh, the M3, uh, 7 minutes remaining, and then on the iMac, it's also 6 minutes remaining, which it looks like it's halfway done, according to the the bar. So, judging by these results, the M3 Pro is currently last, as it seems, which is a bit uh, surprising. But yeah, let's wait till uh, the full results are done, and we'll see which one is the quickest. So we've got two minutes remaining on the M4, we've got two minutes remaining on the iMac, and we have three minutes remaining on the M3. And it seems like it's going to be a neck and neck between the M4 Pro and the M1 iMac, which is uh, something I did not expect. Yes. And it looks like we're going to have a winner with the M3, M4 Pro. Uh, it's 6.47 now, so it's taken roughly 10 minutes to export a, I think, 4 gigabyte file, 4K, on iMovie. The iMac is also nearly done. We've got 5 seconds here. Okay, so it's taken 11 minutes to export a 4K file um, on the M4 Pro. And then on the M1 iMac, it's going to take roughly the same. It's nearly done. Uh, one minute remaining. And then the M3 Pro, I don't know, it's just really slow for some reason. And this is a one week old M3 Pro um, MacBook as well, so it's not really got quite a lot of stuff loaded, which is um a bit strange. Let me know in the comments below if you've bought any of Apple's new devices uh, this year. Uh, three seconds left. And that has exported in 11 minutes. Or 12 minutes as it's just hit 649 so which means the m3 pro macbook pro uh with 18 gigabytes of unified memory is the slowest and just as a reminder here's the m1 imac with eight gigabytes of unified memory as well and you saw the lag when scrolling through the timeline but somehow it's still finished ahead of the m3 now, I've read a few uh, reports that said that the M2 and the M3 uh, Pro and uh, Max MacBooks aren't that great compared to the M1, which was a revolutionary update for Apple. Um, I had the M1 Pro MacBook, but I had to get rid of it because I cracked the screen, which was quite annoying. And we are now finished with the M3 Pro MacBook. But yeah, I had to change my M1 because I cracked the screen, which was one, which was an ideal. So yeah, ended up upgrading to the M4 Pro. So it's 6.50, 13 minutes later, and the M3 Pro has finally exported. And finally, we're just going to be doing a quick Geekbench 6 uh, result on all three computers uh, to see the results of both the CPU and the GPU. So this one is the MacBook Pro 14 inch November 2023, M3 Pro with 18 gigabytes of unified memory. We've got the 24 gigabytes of unified memory with the M4 Pro. And then we have the eight gigabytes of unified memory with the Apple M1 chip. And this isn't even an M1 Pro, this is just a standard M1 chip. So we'll see how long that takes. Um, I'm not really sure if the times here are an accurate representation of how fast these devices are, or maybe it just takes the same amount of time. But once this is completed, I'll come back and show you the results. Okay, it seems like we're nearly done. Uh, this one's taken nearly four minutes. IMAX has gone over four minutes. And the MacBook Pro is nearly done as well, which is nearly taking four minutes. So we've got a single core score of 3810 and a multi core score of 21959. Don't ask me what that means because I've genuinely got no clue. Um, the iMac, we've got a single core score of 2339 and a multi core score of 8318. And the MacBook Pro, we've got a single core score of 3143 and a multi-score of 15,510. Now, if you compare both of these to 
you can see it's a dramatic um, jump, nearly 6,000 higher in the multi score, which is uh, ridiculous. So you can rest assured that this M4 Pro MacBook is going to be a beast. Uh, I think this was the CPU score, so I'll run a GPU score and see what that result is as well. Right, the MacBook Pro M4 has already finished. It's got a metal score of 113,540. The M3 Pro has a metal score of 83,022. And then the iMac has a metal score of 34,479. Now, if I told you what this means, I would probably be lying to you because I've not got a clue. But yeah, those are the three scores. Um, if you know what that means, let me know in the comments below. But if not, same boat as me. Uh, that's all for today's video. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this or if this made it, um, or if you understood what I was on about. It's nice to actually see a real world test on um, iMovie specifically to see how long it takes for these videos to export. Uh, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Leave a like and press that subscribe button.